So I got a phone call yesterday from my accountant, my accountant, my accountant, who called in a very nonchalant way, by the way, to let me know that, uh, you know, he and the fellas over at the accounting firm um, had received, you know, their, uh, their nasty grams, their anonymous nasty grams in the mail. And, uh, you know, with all the stuff about me and like, you know, the hate note, the Unabomber note there. And, uh, and, and that, you know, uh, that uh, the woman, and it's a woman who won't give her name, uh, you know, he called up whoever, uh, you know, the person in charge and, um, you know, went off about how can you do business with Ben Dusing and all this stuff, which is the same stuff that's been going on, um, you know, for, for months and months. I cannot really describe how surreal my existence is uh, at this point. And, you know, Katie's the only one that really can verify this stuff because she's next to me half the time when it happens. But, you know, I'm like, seriously, I've had experiences where I'm like get, getting ready to speak at, uh, you know, like, various clubs or whatever, um, you know, professional things. And uh, as I'm getting ready to be introduced, the guy who's introducing me, he's Wayne Zara, says, oh yeah, I meant to tell you, you know, this crazy woman called up yesterday and told us that like, we should be ashamed of ourselves for inviting you here and we're terrible and all that stuff. And damn, the point is, I am so deeply flattered by the level of attention that, that I've gotten over the past couple months. It's ridiculous. Uh, the amount of effort and energy directed to, to blowing up my life, interfering with my relationships, discrediting me. Um, I have some suggestions on how to do that better uh, for those. That you, it's, it's way better if you just, you gotta pick kind of some themes. Like the scattered shot approach is just not very effective. Like, you know, for a while I'm, uh, you know, I have a mental illness, which by the way is incredibly offensive to the people that receive that shit, just so you know. Like, that's, I don't, you know, we don't do that kind of thing anymore, and uh, I don't think it has the, the effect that you guys, uh, whoever it is is doing it, like we all know. Um, but some months it's my mental illness. Then it's, I have a, a, a substance abuse problem, which is another one that is like, not an obvious pick for me, considering that I've been clean and sober 19 and a half years, and I'm literally on the seven member commission in the state of Kentucky, overseeing impaired lawyers. And it's just not a great choice. Uh, if, you're gonna, if you want some suggestions on how to blow up my character, give me a call and I can point you in that direction. I don't think any of them are gonna go really, you know, are gonna foundationally shake uh, the basic uh, reality of who I am, which is a very flawed human being, um, you know, who has been through a lot of things in life, but who's better for it and uh, really loves his kids. And in any way, in any event, I don't know that any of this really affects where we are at this juncture. And I like, now that I can speak freely, I would just maybe like to save us all some time. It's done. We're done. What are you, what are you still doing? It's done. Check out the internet. Uh, look around. Okay. Um, it was not my intent to like somehow start a movement here, but we have one. Uh, and it's a good one. It's a good thing. And it's, really good people that uh, have been affected by this issue that happened to affect my family and somehow came to note my objection to certain things that they were not in a position to, to object to and endorsed my objection. And as I continue to object to absolutely patently objectionable shit, let's understand this. We are not dealing with stuff on the margins here. You cannot have a court where there are staff attorneys that tinker with all the, you know, the, the tools of justice, where you only hear one side's motion and not the other side, okay? Where you only hear, uh, you only communicate with one side to litigation and not the other. And over uh, the sample size that we intentionally, you know, set out to create once we realized this bullshit was going on, it's just apparent, stark, naked, and done, okay? Good luck with that. It is especially serious that you have things like fixing cases and as I've said in many previous videos, honestly, the evil of this exercise is paralleled only by, is matched only by the stupidity. In many ways, as y'all know, who are out there doing this stuff, all of this is really occasioned by the fact that you guys figured out that you screwed up big time. And that the, of all things, the things, the thing that just brought the house down and like, 
you know, probably sealed your fate, whatever it is. It ain't up to me. It's a date on a court order. It is literally a date on a court order. Because somebody's going to have to explain how a 20 page single space opinion that has 10 other problems with it, uh, including that it talks about stuff that was never evidenced in the case, you know, calling it, you know, how, how do you get that information? That's, uh, that's crazy. But this, this, this basic point, okay? Uh, there's no way, it's, it's, it's literally impossible to write a 20 page single space opinion denying somebody their fundamental constitutional rights in a single day. And that's on the date of the order. Done. We're done. That's to say nothing of the 15 other things that uh, have been evidenced since then. It's to say nothing of the fact that, like, we put it on the internet. Uh, certain special someones who, to whom the rules don't apply and who get special access to justice and special justice, um, you know, now have very clearly misrepresented to a court of law, like the foundational jurisdictional predicate of the court's hearing of a case, have, have completely transparently manipulated the system so that they could get a certain judge by filing a paternity case before the child was born and then representing to the court once the litigation proceeded that the litigation was initiated after causing a circumstance where at present it is very unclear it is very unclear whether everything the court did in that case from the beginning, over 60 some orders, hundreds of thousands of dollars in taxpayer money in the form of judges' salaries, the staff assistants, all kinds of people's time, public time. Notwithstanding, just to say nothing of all of the private money poured into that litigation, all of it very potentially threatened by the fact that the court never had jurisdiction in the first place. Something that I think would be unprecedented on, on an epic scale. Somebody having done that to this moment has not suffered consequence. Meanwhile, the fine sanction $17,000 for I don't even know what. Um, we're done. It's done. I don't know who's still fighting what or why you think that like discrediting me or attacking me is going to solve anything. But if you haven't noticed, all of the evidence, the, the proof of your demise is on the internet. Um, the people that you know may have something to say about what you did have been showing up the court. Here's a hint. It starts with an F and ends in an I. And there is a B in between. I feel like that when we have representatives of the Department of Justice and the Federal Bureau of Investigation attending court proceedings, which I'm pretty sure doesn't happen all the time, we can safely conclude that they weren't just like stepping in to eat lunch and they didn't find their way there by accident. And I think we can safely conclude that to whomever and in whatever fashion, and my understanding is it's already started and that there's, uh, you know, the, the administrative office of the court is investigating the clerks or is down there looking at the clerk's office files. That's, that's, that's my understanding. That everything that is about to happen, which I think has already started to happen, has nothing to do with me. And that blowing me up while flattering to me and spending all this time and effort calling, among others, my accountant, man. It's my accountant. Homie, it's my accountant. Just let him count his beans, man. Okay, he's a good dude. He doesn't need this stuff. These guys don't do drama well. And still, they do it well with me because they know, as everybody else does, what's going on. Look, I'm ready to, to make this proclamation. It's done, okay? You did what you did. The proof is what the proof is. It's on the internet, it's everywhere, and people understand. People understand. Not only that, they're supportive and sympathetic. And they're all coming here on December 16th, those that have been affected by uh, this bullshit in the past, and a, 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 a court that's just not a court. It's just not. From a parent who happens to be a lawyer and a former federal prosecutor, who used to prosecute public corruption, who defends it right now for a living, I feel like I know what a court looks like. That ain't it. I feel like I know what public corruption looks like. That's it. And I feel like I have some idea to those that engage in it. And here's what I got to say to you. I got a conflict, so don't call me. But good luck.
and this will be one where uh, for the first time in a while, I can't really tell you I'll be rooting for the defense. It's done. What are we doing? Nobody wants to see me get on Facebook and make these videos anymore, and there's no need to. It's over. I don't know who's behind me. I don't know what kind of sticks they, they, they brought, okay? And I don't know and have no say in whatever they do with the stuff that proves what you've done. And I don't know what the logic was of letting me out of jail after you've held a hammer over my head for two years, significantly constraining my ability to speak about this stuff. Giving me my freedom under the most interesting of, of circumstances. But if the idea was that like, with the writing on the wall, let's just let the guy go and maybe his mouth will go with him. That was a miscalculation. That, that was a miscalculation. But I get it. What else are you supposed to do? You've got actors who have never been held accountable for anything, who notoriously are never held accountable for anything, who everybody knows has a hookup at the, clerk's, at the, courts, at the courthouse, who have on Facebook now been caught with their hand in the cookie jar multiple times in a way that has nothing to do with my credibility. Are you saying the video isn't the video and the filing that, you know, or isn't the filing? Or what, 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 what is the contention? This has nothing to do with me. And so, whereas I can understand the point of coming after me and bothering my accountant and bothering everybody else and my clients and harassing the shit out of me and conducting surveillance of me and Katie and filing all kinds of crazy ass lawsuits and going uh, and doing all kinds of crazy ass shit. When I, I, I could understand the point of that when we were at a point where, you know, maybe that could matter we're done. Sweetheart, if you're fucked, you're fucked. Okay? I don't know how to tell you this. It's already up there. It's already out. I'm no prognosticator, and I don't want to, you know, um, judging by my daily interactions and the literally hundreds of people who have come out of the woodwork with their own stories, their own commitment to this stuff, and who more so now than in the past, are prepared to tell their own stories and probably produce their own evidence. I would gather that um, th this one, I'm prepared to call this one for the good guys, okay? So, um, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I can speak more freely now. I can be a better parent now. But I'm, I enjoyed my, my weekend with my children in a way that I haven't in two and a half years. And I didn't even understand why at first. And then it hit me. And I was very happy, but at the same time sad. Because you know why it was? I was not in the Kenton County Family Court. No shit. And I could parent in a way that allowed me to engage my kids in a more serious way and to really give to them. As opposed to playing defense and looking over my shoulder, knowing that if a single thing happened to those kids, even the most innocent thing, I would face what I've always faced. Motion after motion, ridiculous. Uh, allegation after another, and here is the biggest fear. In any court of law, I wouldn't have feared that shit for one second because the facts didn't support it and the law didn't warrant any action. In that fucking place, anything can happen to anybody if you're on the other side. And if the, if, if the special people that have the special hookups that run that place are on the other side, it ain't good, man. And that's wrong. I'm committed to changing it. I remain committed to changing it. And I love my new peeps. And we're going to affect positive change. I can't change the past. Uh, it's done. It's out there. Uh, it's not up to me what happens to anybody. And I have no interest in anybody getting clubbed, okay, or burned at the stake. I don't know about those guys, okay? Because a lot of people think that the corruption of, of, of a court system, and guys, the fixing of cases, hear me. Fixing cases that involve denying people fundamental constitutional rights. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that uh, that doesn't end well. I don't know. I don't know. My request tonight is simply like, can you let my fucking accountant just count his beans, man? Okay. 
I'm flattered by the attention. I think I think this is run its course, and I'll be honest with you, at this point, no offense, it's a little pathetic. And I'm a free man. So give a thought about just packing it in, calling it a day, moving on, and just waiting for uh, the knock on the door. Spend as much time with your kids as you can between now and then, and pray to the God of your understanding for mercy. Meanwhile, the people have some business to do and clean up the rest of the mess down there. Make no mistake, it's coming. I'm just going to be watching. Have a good night.